<laughs> My uncle's a retired colonel in the Air Force, and his cousin's a jet fighter pilot, right?
This is actually my uh, first, first jump back with the unit. Uh, I just finished airborne school, got back into town Thursday from Fort Benning, Georgia. So, but our unit averagely uh, will jump a couple times during the month, but every other drill is a jump drill that we'll do. Yeah, I mean, they, they make it pretty simple for you, um, but there's nothing more exhilarating than, than seeing that door open up and, and knowing you're the first guy out and you know, just do what you're trained to do and it uh, works out pretty well. So, but it, it's quite a rush you know, going through the sky and then looking up and seeing your canopy open and yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. For me, I go through kind of a, a mental checklist, just to make sure that I go through what I want to do, what I want to, you know, position I want to be when I get out and then what I need to do once I'm out, uh, what I'm looking for, um, kind of get familiarized with, with what's going on. I'm jumping a different shoot today, so that'll take a few minutes to get used to and uh, um, kind of gather myself, see where I want to go and, and then uh, and move out from there. So. But yeah, sometimes say a little prayer to yourself, make sure things, things work out. Because uh, it's real noisy in the plane, we repeat all the commands that come from the jump master. And so the jump master will give us time commands saying how far out we are. Uh, and then when we're getting closer, he'll tell us to stand up. And we all stand up, and then we all hook our uh, static lines up to the cable. Uh, and then we do equipment checks, make sure all our gears, everything, one last check, make sure everything's good to go. Uh, and then the jump masters will go through, make sure everybody's static line is correct, that we're all good. Uh, and then when we have certain markers on the ground, when they see those, they know we're a minute out and then 30 seconds out. And then uh, actually in this jump, our jump master will be the first one out. Uh, they'll, they'll go out the door and then uh, we'll follow right behind them. I mean, when you jump out, you know, gravity and the wind and everything takes care of everything for you. But when you're coming up to that ground, you know, you're floating, you feel like you're floating all nice and everything. And then all of a sudden that ground starts coming up on you pretty quick. And, and and that's when people get hurt, so you want to make sure that you're really focused, you do what you're trained to do, and, and uh, if you do everything that they've taught you to do, you have a nice safe jump, everything works out really well. So, and with the five jumps I did at Fort Benning, everything, you know, everything worked out really well. So, yeah. nice, nice, soft, easy landing. So, uh, I'm just hoping to, to walk back to the truck is all I want to do. So, just glad to be airborne, so.